Well, 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 here's Mama Bloom's brood. Sidney and Harold, at last, have found a use for the 200 suits of armor which Sidney purchased. They're going to make a super picture, written, produced, and directed by them. Papa is not enthusiastic. But uh, forgetting about that for a moment, we find Mama and Papa at home, getting ready to go to their first Hollywood premiere to see the celebrities. Listen. Papa! Papa, hurry up! You're getting more and more like a slow pike every day. Jackie, I can't go without having shoes on. Two hours you take to put shoes on. Anyway, why should you be putting them on in the kitchen? Because I left them in here last night. Jake, why should you be leaving your shoes in the kitchen overnight? Why have we got a very lovely bedroom if you're getting undressed in the kitchen? Don't nag at me, Mama. I'm getting ready just as fast as I'm able. I don't want you should be a speed lemon, but I do want we should get someplace before the clock is saying we are very late. Look, already the big hand is past the right time. All right, Mama. All right. Besides, the golden boys are here yet. They are going to meet them at the movie house. Jack, I'm coming out there to see what you're doing. I'm coming, Mama. I'm coming. It shouldn't be taking you so long to put on shoes, so I'm coming out. Jake, you got your shoes on. <laughs> sure, sure, I have, Becky. <laughs> and I've been telling you what I was doing. You've been doing something else, Jake. Papa, empty the pocket. The pa- the pa- But, Mama, why, why should I be emptying the pocket? Because I know what you got in them. I will give a look in the high spot. Oh, Mama, you... Uh-huh, thinking so. Jay, there is all the kosher salami. Huh? Well, how should I know, Mama? <laughs> Am I supposed to keep track of the salami? I ain't a butcher. You ain't a butcher, no, Jake. If you was, there wouldn't be a little penny of profit in the business. How many sandwiches did you make? Um, just two, Mama, just two. Just two. Put them back. But, Mama, we are going so early to the premiere, so I'm thinking maybe I should like to have a little bite to eat if we're going to wait for long. Uh-huh. Hmm? A little bite to eat. Yes. Jake, for you, a little bite to eat is like a whole barber pole for somebody else. <laughs> barbecue, Mama, barbecue. So it's still too much. Yes. What if we're going to the theater and people would see you munching on a sandwich? You know what they would say? Oh, Mama. I will tell you. They would say, uh-huh, there goes Jake Bloom. He's a big reducer in the movie business, and he's taking along his lunch. Put the sandwiches back, Papa. All right, so, all right, so I'll put back the sandwiches, but I'm telling you, Mama, I will faint because I'm so hungry. So somebody will pick you up. Come on, Jake, they are late already. You're standing in the doorway, Mama. How can I go? I ain't standing in the doorway, Jake. I'm standing in the doorway to the cupboard where the cookies are. Oh. I know what I'm doing. Go ahead. No, all right, all right, so we're going. Come on, Mama. Come I'm right on. behind you. Right behind me. Oh. Still go out the front face so we look in the mailbox. And why should we be looking for mail when we're in a hurry? Because it won't take a little minute longer to stick your hand in the mailbox and get the letter. And how do you know we got letters? Papa, you're going to try to stop a argument about oh, the letters? I don't know better. I won't. I won't. All right. Uh-huh. There. You see, Jake, there's a letter in the box. You, got good you can eyes. see it through the little flap. Open it up there. <laughs> Who's it from? It's from me, and I don't know who it's from. Ain't you going to open no. it? No. They're near the first of the month, and I shouldn't be opening letters but I've got bills in them and spoil what maybe is going to be a good time. All right, all right. Stop the car, Papa. Mama, how can I start the car before I'm in it? Is there anything but stopping you from getting in? And don't aggravate me. Uh, all right, get in, Mama. <laughs> don't push. Jake, go around the other door. Don't try to climb over me. It's very bad for my feet. But, all right, Mama, all right. Bigger car. Uh, which way do we go? To the theater. 
Yeah, but which one? Papa, the one where the premiere is at. I know, Mom, I know, but but which one? Jay, just drive and I will tell you the corners to train. <laughs> You're gonna tell me, huh? You're gonna tell me. So maybe we'll get to the premiere tomorrow. We gotta get there tonight. And you're making a left point at the bottom of the street. We ain't far from the theater, Jay. It ain't far? Then why shouldn't we walk? So we got a car and we should walk. Maybe you're thinking we should be teach hiking. Uh, Jake, be careful. Be careful from the little buttons in the street. They're very bad on this car. Now, would you please let me drive? Hmm. Papa, Papa, yes. turn right now. You turn... Yeah. There's the theater. <laughs> and look at the crowd. Now, you see, Papa, if you didn't stop to make the sandwiches... We would be here before the crowd. Four blocks we drive in the car. Mama, we could have walked. Now we have to find a space to park the car. And it don't fold up, I should get in such little places. So there's a parking lot, Papa. A park. Fifty cents they should charge so we could run the car around and get it all out of gas. Oh, yes. Don't look at me like that, all right, Mama. So we'll we'll go into our parking lot. Let me up for it, Papa. I don't like to walk on gravel. Gravel. Whatever it is, it's getting in my shoes and then I have to learn. Stop the car, Papa. Stop it. There's the driveway. You, uh, all right. So, will you get out and I'll let the man park the car? All right. Perfect time Couldn't you make it a quarter? It's a small car. It won't take a oh, whole bit. Uh, uh. Hurry up, Papa. The crowd's getting uh, bigger. Well, should I run away without my change? No. It's got a whole dollar of mine. Get it. Uh, yep, yeah, I'm getting it. All right. Thank you. So, uh, look at the crowd. Look at the crowd. I can't see nothing. Well, I can see something on me, yeah. <laughs> I can see the backs of a lot of people that are right in front of me. Jay, look, there are a lot of people sitting down in seats. Come on, Papa, we'll sit down, too. You know, it's funny that the people who are standing ain't sitting in the empty seats. It ain't funny, Papa. It's too bad they don't see them. Oh. <laughs> excuse us, please, huh? Yeah, excuse us. Papa, don't push. Oh, yeah, push. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> excuse me, mister. Please, Papa, push. Uh, Papa, don't get lost. Where are you, Papa? Here, Becky, here. Take my hand. All right, all right. But don't pull too hard. Hey, all right, Jake, I got your hand. Why don't you go ahead? Mama, you ain't got my hand. I ain't got your hand. I got... Oi! <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Police. What's Police. the matter, Becky? What's the matter? Hope that man thought I was crazy. I was holding his hand. <laughs> hey, don't go so fast, Papa. Right. Yeah. Jake, something's happening and we ain't seeing this. Well, I can't see nothing, Mama. Excuse me, Mr. Police. Yeah. Jake, there's huh? the stairs that go to the seats. Why we should come out on a night like this is just crazy. All right, come on, Mama, come yeah. on. Oh, yeah. Boy, back the rope, please. Back the rope. <sighs> I'm glad we are through that crowd. Just like sardines we lost. <laughs> hey, go ahead, Papa, get seats. But, Mama, we ain't going to sit down. That's very foolish, Jake. We come through the whole crowd. Do you want to keep on doing that whole night? But look, Mama, see that sign? A dollar and a half they charge for seats. Well, yeah, and they're wood the ones without the cushion, the so you pay a dollar and a half a seat. Mama, you're crazy. A dollar and a half a piece? Why, why should we pay? At home, we could do it for nothing. And I wouldn't have to keep my shoes on either. Papa, we are here and we are going to sit down even if it costs a dollar and a half. Buy the ticket, yeah? You buy the... Oh, all right, all right. So we shouldn't have to go through that crowd again. I'll pay. You stay here, Mama, and I'll... And yeah, now. yeah, Papa, hurry up. Right now, and his lady, Papa, Papa, you shouldn't take so long. Something's happening again to be missed. Yeah, we missed. I'm missing three dollars because we have to sit down. Come on, Mama. Excuse us, please. Yeah. <sighs> oh, yeah <God. laughs> Papa, I wonder where Sidney and Sarah are, and yet I'm Harold. Mm -hmm. You should ask me to look at the crowd and pick them out. Why not? Don't you know your own flesh and bones? Mama, you're talking to your head. Papa, go look for them. Okay. I should go looking again through that crowd. Yeah, Why not? You should... We should... Oh, it. Oh, oh, it. Oh, <laughs> I think I know it. Yeah. But we missed it again, and so did the children. Go find them, Papa, and we'll save seats. Go ahead, huh? All right, all right. Save my seats. Yeah, I'll I must save I'll save it. Okay. Hurry up, Jay! Say, lady, please sit down, will you? What? Oh, excuse me. Oh, oh my foot. Oh, yeah, I stepped on it, didn't I? I'm sorry. Well, being sorry don't help my dogs. Dogs? So if you bring animals in a crowd like this, they shouldn't be helped. No, I can't see Papa. Papa. Papa! Now she wants her pop. And now just arriving in a big black limousine is the note director, Eric McFamey. Say, lady, lady, if you don't want to see the stars, I do. Please excuse me, it's all too Thanks. Yeah. That's good. Oh, there's Papa. Papa. Papa! Look, lady, look, if you're taking up setting up exercises, don't do it in front of me. Move over. Excuse me, please. Uh, Papa, here I am! Papa! Hey, all right, Papa, so I'll come down. Excuse me. Uh, you sure stayed long enough to spoil my evening? Hey, please, excuse me. Uh, yeah, excuse me, Mrs. Uh, excuse me. Go Redondo. Why didn't you stay 
up there. Jake, I wouldn't be bothered to stay up there alone. There was a man and he was very aggravated. How did you find him? Upside. It was looking like, uh, well, like looking for a needle in a haystack. Two haystacks. I didn't want you should play games, Papa. I wanted that you should find the children. Oh, it ain't no use, Mama. Did you bring the ticket? Yeah, yeah. Come on, we'll go back to the ticket, yeah? I'm busy, my Peter. So far, we ain't seen a thing. No, stop it, thank you. Come on, Papa, come on. Come on. <laughs> but I want to see what backing. Becky, look, the people are leaving the seats. Oh, that's good, sir. That's good. Now we ain't having to walk over them. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Police. Lady, huh? look, there ain't no use going back up there. The show's over. You mean the, there ain't nothing else to see? Not tonight. They're folding up and going home. So long. Oi. Make it two oi's, Mama. One for me. Oi, oi. Hm. Yeah, so now they go home. And the poor children didn't see nothing. <laughs> Mommy, you forget that Sydney was there. And if Sydney don't see anything, nobody will. Oi, Papa, mine feet, boy. I was thinking that mine ain't even on my legs anymore. So, Mama, we'll sit down on our dollar and a half seats and rest a minute, huh? Never mind, Papa. We'll go home. You can rest better there because you'll be able to take your shoes off. Come on, Papa. Oh, Mama, I'm not able to walk another step. Maybe you should want to stay here all night. All right, Mama, all right, all right. <laughs> I'll bet you feel better already. <laughs> I mean, there's only one thing I'd like to know. Why did we go out tonight? Hmm? To see something you didn't see. Oh. Huh? Papa, the telephone? Mama, I ain't got my shoes on. Neither have I. So I'll answer it. Yeah. Hello? Hello, Pa. Hello, Sydney. <laughs> Where was you? Where was I? Where were you? Well, Sydney, I don't know. Papa, is there something wrong? I don't know yet, Mama. Uh, Sydney, what do you want? Well, how did you like the premiere, Pa? <laughs> I can't like anything I am not seeing. Well, what do you mean? Didn't you see the stars and the picture? Sydney, we saw only the backs of a lot of people. It was part. Part of the tickets. The tickets I sent you. Tickets? Are you crazy, Sydney? Not a ticket did we get. But you must have. I mailed them this morning. Special delivery. Oh, they were wonderful tickets, Pa. 15th row center. Oi, baby, it's uh, What kind of an envelope? Just a plain envelope. Envelope. Aha, uh -huh. Papa. Here it is. You ain't opened it. Uh, Sydney, did you have to call up tonight? Well, we were worried about Sure, it, sure. And now I am. Papa, look. In the letter you didn't want to open, there is the ticket. Oh, I'm... Goodbye, Sydney, and I hope I don't see you in the morning. Uh-huh. You see, Papa? It's like I'm always saying. Look before you sleep. Mm -hmm.